Hey guys, welcome back to another Brood War cast. Today we're gonna continue highlighting some great foreign Brood War pros in their struggle against Korean pros on the ladder. We've got Suzuki Siki here in the bottom right. He is a Hungarian Zerg player who has a lot of great success in things like the BSL, but I don't think he's ever tried to qualify or attempted uh, join the qualifiers for anything like ASL or whatever. He's just uh, consistently strong in BSL and other foreign-led tournaments. He's going to be going up against Noob, who is, of course, a Korean pro player and has featured in two different ASLs, ASL Season 10 and ASL Season 12. So... He is a qualified player. He's made it through the early group stages. I think he got to like round of 16 or something. A very strong player who uh, plays a lot of ladder games. He's hiding on the ID Potato Cave right now. But this is indeed Noob. Playing at 430 APM right now. He's going to scout Siki. And Siki has started here with a early hatchery. It's a 12 hatchery, I believe with the pool and then gas right away. Wow, this is an incredibly fast gas for this matchup. This is almost looking like a versus Terran build right now. This is how quickly you would get your gas versus Terran. Usually we would see the gas around more like a three minute 30 timing or a four minute timing. Uh, if you're going for like a normally timed gas. Um, yeah, this is this is very very quick. So we'll see what he wants to do with that. Or, or, two minute thirty, two minute thirty to three minutes. I, I'm getting my timings messed up here a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't played a lot of Brood War in the past week or so since I've been back from Korea. I've been messing around with a few different games. Um. Anyway, we'll talk about that a little bit later. We've got the first zealot coming in here, and Siki gonna have to deal with that. Let's see if he can handle this without losing any drones. That'll be the the key here. If he can do this without losing any drones, this 12 hatch will have been worth it. Um, he's doing a good job. Picking off that early probe is very nice. He allows the zealot to get behind the mineral patches, but not too much you can do about that. Did he get anything over here at the natural? No. No kills or anything on that second zealot, but... This one's still going to rotate around. It could get a kill here. Oh, it does get one drone. Ah, so rough. So, so, so rough. He was setting up to hit from both sides with the two links, but immediately sensing that that was about to occur, Noob slips around and gets that one kill. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's just not what you want out of the 12 hatch. You want to get uh, ahead with your macro and... Really, everything's been evened out now um, here for Noob. He's he's managed to get those kills. Now he's uh, just going to have to defend. As long as he handles this correctly and doesn't allow Lings in, he's going to be pretty okay here. He's going to be pretty fine. So, Siki is going to look for opportunities to maybe dive in. He's even forced some probes off the line, though. So, you know, this is, this is some compensation. We're trying to get the gateway if we can. If he's not, you know, perfectly maneuvering the lings or the, the zealots here, maybe we could slip by some lings. But oh, there we go. He's found an opening. He will get one ling past, I guess. No, he will let the ling die. He goes after a zealot and he gets one zealot, but no lings managed to slip by into the main. And now the zealots are going to go and just start to pressure here across the map, which is a bit frustrating. Now, here is the result of that early gas. Coming from Siki, he's going to go for two hatch muta play here. This is a bit of a wild build. It makes things really, really chaotic. And it's very much an unorthodox way of playing Zerg, but it's absolutely viable. You can play this way. You don't see a lot of really high level top tier pros play like this anymore. But some of them will mix it in if they can, you know, get away with it without getting spotted. They will try to throw some plays in like this. The two hatch me to play. He is going to throw down a third hatch after this. After the fact. 
and he's made just barely enough lings, just barely enough lings to win that fight on the ground, which is exactly how you want to play it here as the Zerg player. You want to have just the right number of lings so that you can pump out as many Mutalists as possible. No second gas here. Uh, curiously, no second gas, so he's not going to stick on this, I don't think. We're going to make a bunch of mutas. We're going to go across the map, try to deal damage. Scourge are going to be there to try and help out with the Corsair. Oh, the Corsair. He could catch this. If he catches this with the moving shot, this would be a really big deal for Zeke. He's going to catch it with the moving shot, and he gets the Scourge. No, no, Scourge are not going to be able to connect. He's going directly across the map with the mutas. He's going to let the Scourge chase and maybe pick up on that Corsair as it tries to come back home. Maybe he can catch that trying to make its way back in the main or something. Gonna come through with the five mutas. We can kill quite a few drones here. Uh, quite a few probes here, excuse me. He's got already like five, maybe six drone kills. Probe kills, excuse me, keep saying that, but we've still got five mutas, so he can keep doing this. We can keep doing this for a while. Um, three Corsairs are now out. We're gonna try and catch this Corsair as it makes its way back. Not able to do so, but he keeps all the mutas alive and both the Scourge, so this is actually very very good from Siki. he's done an excellent job picking off probes keeping the mutas alive and a threat on the map and keeping scourge alive so that he can uh threaten away the corsairs here if the corsairs try to dive in he can try and you know go with the with the scourge here to you know threaten the dive on the mute or on the corsairs dude i am just stumbling all over my words right now what is going on two more kills here at the natural dude so many probes have gone down and we still have five mutas. This is excellent, excellent control by Ziki here. Really, really good stuff. Um, the amount of kills he's gotten here, absolutely making this play worthwhile. And he's switching into Hydralis production now. He did lose one Overlord and it looks like that will unfortunately supply block him quite heavily. He's going to have to produce three Overlords at a time right now. Uh, in the moment when he would like to be making drones and maybe a few hydras as well. But unfortunately, he can't really do that right now. He's going to have to wait and build up quite a bit of minerals. What is going to be the play here? Are we going to go up to 40 drones or are we going to just make pure hydra? Pure hydra here is a little bit afraid of the potential of a zealot counterattack. Although there are only two gateways and he's making Templar right now. This is... Uh, in my mind, this is more for a third base take type of play. But we'll have to see here in a moment what he wants to do with this. Overlord speed is just about done. Hydras are popping out en masse. Overlords are hitting the field here in position to deal with this Dark Templar. Let's see what kind of damage this Dark Templar can do. Looks like we did lose the Scourge, but great job keeping all of the Mutalists alive here. Still five Mutas, still a threat. The five Muna is just, it's such a crisp number in this uh, matchup. One shotting probes is so fantastic. Three cannons were made in the main. Even though he made so many Corsairs, he still had to make three cannons. Um, and three cannons here as well, two over by the mineral patches. So a lot of defense has been uh, levied here out of, of Noob. Whereas Siki only built five mutas and he's continued to just have these same five mutas flying around threatening. The Sairs are going to have to head back home. They're not going to be able to try and come in here and kill a bunch of overlords or anything like that. They have to stay back. Really, really good stuff out of Siki so far. I want to see him convey this into a great mid game. We're going to have to see if he's got that smoothness. So far, it's been very just buttery smooth here from Siki. But we'll have to see, can he maneuver this into that six hatch Hydra and eventually into the four base with the lurkers, all the upgrades coming at the same time. Things can get overwhelming and there are opportunities for the Protoss to slip in and deal damage. He's so far done a great job putting out his Hydras in positions to defend the Overlords, you know, getting his Hydras into those spots where we're not going to see that damage coming out of Noob here. He's going to jump on top of some more probes. He's got the five mutas here, still picking off probes. Like three, four, five more probes going to go down. Another few more probes fall, and he will try to run away. I guess all the mutas are going to die. 
But dude, so much probe damage has been done and he's not mining this gas. Noob, missing out on gas mining here. He will, okay, there we go. Mine that gas, very importantly. Losing a Corsair as well. DT is in position to try and block the fourth base. Hopefully a, an Overlord will be sent to deal with that here shortly. But a big round of Hydras has just been pumped. It's ready to head out on the map. He should be able to fight this before the uh, Templar get into position. And this is a great play by Ziki. Moving his Hydras over to the side here. Splitting off small groups to try and snipe the Templar. A great storm there though. He will block with this one egg and keep on making Hydras back at home. It's a scary push, but as long as you keep spreading and splitting against the Zealots and not allow big storms to clump up, uh, to kill clumped up Hydras, you should be okay here. Ooh, this is a big dangerous situation. The storm could be deadly. Oh, dealing a lot of damage there. The Lurker though, just in time. Another great storm here, killing off two Lurker eggs. Baiting out those lurkers, killing them off. Pretty darn good here. Good uh, value there for Noob. Losing 200 gas and two lurkers. Pretty bad, unfortunately, for Ziki. Keeping his overlords alive pretty well, though. Like we're going to find the overlords here. Another Corsair does go down for that kill, though. Here's we've just managed to kill off that DT that was denying the fourth base. And he will start to take that now. Fourth base gonna or third base gonna go down for noob as well. But the position is looking nice. I'm not I, I wouldn't be too uh I wouldn't be too uh, you know, mad about this position if I was Seeky right now. I think he's done pretty well for himself. He's got plus one, he has plus two on the way. We're Plus one, plus one right now with plus two armor coming for Noob. Pretty standard overall timings. But, you know, nothing's gone seriously wrong for Ziki yet. He's done the damage that he wanted to do with the early mutas. He hasn't taken a load of damage from the uh, Corsairs or anything. He hasn't taken a load of damage from DTs. Now, the one thing I'm looking at that is kind of scary right now is that, you know, we do have almost nothing in this main base. There's some dark patches here that I could see DTs getting unloaded and no overlords to help defend that. Um, at this point in the game, it could be prudent to just leave like five Hydras and an overlord here in the main base to make sure that something like that doesn't end up occurring and ruining your day. But right now, he's not opting to do that. Another thing you can do is put a spore here. Um, one spore, one sunken can do a lot to save buildings. Like, this is so scary to have these buildings right here in such a uh, attackable position from a drop. Like, you drop four zealots in here, you can kill the spire really fast. So having one of those two uh, options uh, for the main base, I think is necessary, but so far Ziki hasn't done that and we'll see if he ends up getting punished for it. Quite a few Dragoons are now hitting the field. The army here is looking a little bit scary from Noob. He's sending Zealots around to make sure that there's no super greedy fifth base being taken, but Ziki just doing the right thing, taking this fourth, droning up to 50, Grabbing an extra hatch here. These are all great moves from Ziki. He's going to have the production that he needs to take this fight into the very late stages. And you need extra hatches because you're not just going to stay on pure Hydra here. You're going to start switching into Ling play. A lot of Lings are going to start to hit the field here very, very soon. We're coming forward now with the Templar Dragoon Zealot Army to try and challenge this. But, man, challenging this high ground is a serious task that is a lot of lurkers he's gonna have to slowly chip through here and as long as Ziki snipes observers um, you know dives forward on dragoons that overextend maybe make a few extra lurkers to reinforce his position he should be okay to transition into that late game the hive is now on the way and another base gonna be taken here 
Ooh. Eating a pretty big storm there. I think trying to dive a Templar, but not really ma managing to make it work. Had to cough there. Sorry, guys. We've got one Templar getting sniped in that fight. Another Templar. Could end up going down. He goes for the Archon, actually. We're not quite able to pick that off either. But these are good moves by Siki. You know, he's forcing out more storms. Trading out just a few Hydras for a few scattered Templar. Limiting the power of this army a little bit later. And Nubis not making any headway. He's not getting up onto this uh, high ground. That is for sure. Triple upgrade coming here now. No, just double. No third upgrade for the Needle Spines. Some Scourge are being leveraged here towards the main now. Making sure that he does have some air cover. Seeing now that, you know, Noob has taken another base. Uh, we don't have to necessarily dive out anywhere right now. Ooh, great spread and split here. The Unburrow, really, really well done by Siki. He even picks off that Templar as well. Realizing that he was going to take, you know, a really big storm there. Just unburrowing and getting out of the way preemptively. Really well done. A drop is going to be coming through with drop ventral sacks on the way. I think we're going to see him drop this base potentially, but there are still Corsairs here. You can see now Lings are starting to come out on mass. We've got Adrenal upgrade now finished. One armor is done. We're going to start two armor plus one attack is about to finish. Defilers are out now. It's okay to be on four base versus four base for a little bit as a Zerg player here. If you're going to Hive and, you know, getting out all these upgrades, it's a little bit hard to hold on to five bases, even against a four base Protoss. Um, they're able to build a lot of cannons, a lot of extra gateways and stuff uh, without overextending too much. But if you try to take, for example, this base up here right now, it could be a little bit dangerous. We need to actually kill this army or get up here and get a Nidus in, in place. Um, before we can make, you know, get a fourth base going, or a fifth base going, excuse me. Looks like Zer Zergling counterattack over here to the center left, at least denying the fifth base here from Noob. It's essential. You cannot allow the Protoss player. It's okay to be on even bases, but you can't allow uh, more bases to go down for the Protoss player in these situations. He's going to kill the Zealots that are denying this base and get a drone up here to the top. Uh, center, but looks like he doesn't have enough to actually take this base just yet. I'm gonna try and do it by s just sneaking up to this area. Another great storm goes down. Some more Templar do fall. Good snipes on the Templar. Great storms here, dealing a lot of damage. We are gonna have the first Dark Swarm of the game, though. And as Dark Swarm comes up, oh, he lost the the Defiler there to the storm. That's rough. First Defiler goes down to sw to uh, Storm. Pretty unfortunate. He picks up the one Defiler in the Overlord here. We're going to pick up a bunch of units and maybe go for this base. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go for that drop. He loads up everything after consuming a bunch of Lings. We do need another Defiler to pop out here. Wow, even more hatches coming over here. Really good macro coming out of Seeky right now. 55 drones. And he's got this many hatcheries. He's going to be able to pump out an insane number of Lings. Here we go. Ling's going to counterattack over here. While the army of Noob heads over towards the top center. He's going to get dropped here. And I think this drop is going to go very, very well for Zeki. Dropping out the Defiler. Flying Defiler here. Landing on top of these cannons. Casting the Dark Swarm. This base is going to go down super, super quick. And he's going to limit now... Noob on to three bays where he's sitting prettily at four. Maybe he can even take this base now. He's managed to hold this area with Lurker. He can't, I don't think, take this one because Noob will definitely be shutting that down. But he, he should try to deny this base while taking this base. I think that's the plan. I'm not 100%. Oh, getting the Defiler over here just in the nick of time, but the Defiler does not have the energy to Dark Swarm. He needs to consume... Consume not coming down in time. 
Lings are just gonna be thrown away. He's going for the counter attack right now. We're gonna go picture in picture here as this attack comes in. Siki going for the throat right now. He's gonna try and kill this base while trading for his fourth. Will this go well for the Zerg? Rarely ever do counter attacks or base trades go well for the Zerg player. Storms are just too strong, but maybe he can kill this base and keep his fourth alive. I'm not sure. This base is nearly going down. Meanwhile, breaking through over here. Looks like a plague came down on these, this army. But Siki gonna lose control of his fourth. He's meanwhile counterattacking over here to the uh, center left. Can he get this kill on the Reaver? No, 14 HP. He tries to flank with these Lurkers, but it's not a good idea. The Lurkers here will just run directly into Storms and get completely countered. Dude, this is a wild game now. We've lost a lot of workers on both sides. More so for the noob side, though. He's only got 26 probes. Now, uh, looking at this game, all we need to do is block. We just need to block probes from getting over to this base. If he would just take these four lurkers and block this area, I think he should be able to take this game. Sometimes it's not necessary to kill your opponent's base it's only necessary to stop them from transferring probes because the mineral income they're gonna get from making workers out of that base is gonna be so slow and low eventually you can overcome them it seems like these probes are gonna make their way out of the base without any trouble though that's a really unfortunate moment there for Siki he will clear this army up here but the probe transfer is complete he didn't even have a observer to make that happen he's instead going to bring his full army to try and break this base but oh man i don't know about this guys noob has one base mining and ziki has more he's got a lot more here he does get a great plague but dude he had this game in the bag like a hundred percent if he had just blocked that probe transfer i think he should have been able to take this game because the mineral income would have been nothing for a really long time until he could get an observer over here to clear that. It would have been really rough. And with the defiler here, if you could just throw a dark swarm on that, it just takes so long to clear. Oh man, running down the, the um, from the high ground here. Oh, can he get one more shot on that reaver? Not able to do it. And the reaver clears up everything. 16 kill reaver, 12 and seven kill archons here apiece. Managing to hold on to this base. Siki still not moving lurkers over here. Dude, he's just transferring army for free right now. He's able to just move the army through here uh, for nothing right now. Siki is going to eat a big storm here. This is really not going his way anymore. Will be able to possibly get this base online again. Another plague goes down. That was a pretty decent plague. He's got a lot of Ling and Hydra here, but... All these lurkers are not really being utilized at the moment. Where is that uh, dropship with all of the... Okay, he's sending this all the way around the map. Great storms here from Noob. Picking off a lot of these lings. And now he's going to rotate around here. He's going to go for this drop. There is still that Reaver that's defending. But maybe he can kill off a lot of probes. Or at least deny the mining for long enough to get himself a good advantage. Dark Templar are coming out. We don't have an Overlord here. There's one right there. So I don't think the DTs can make it past those links, but we'll see. Jumping on top of the Templar, he gets the kill on that Templar. Here comes that drop. Here we go, dropping here with the Lurkers. He will be able to throw down, I think a Plague maybe? Dark Swarm? What is he gonna do? Plague on the Nexus. Goes for the Observer, he gets the Observer, that's huge. A huge, huge kill there. Able to pick that off. I think he targets the Archon to kill that. Yeah, he does. Great idea there to target the Archon just to pick off the last Lurker. The pick on the Observer was really, really smart. Ooh, we missed the DT there. DT getting a few drone kills over at this base. Pretty painful at this point for Ziki to be losing some drones. But I think he's got himself in a decent enough spot. To where he could probably take this game. We're only mining on one base again, guys. 
just that one base and we can easily transfer drones from our other base. Okay, we've got this base up as well. I didn't even notice that. That is actually a big, big base to have right now. And a lot of drones over here um, in addition. So as long as uh, Noob doesn't find out about that and that continues to mine, Siki's going to become in a better and better position. He's got 40 supply advantage here. Noob is just kind of sitting back, hoping that Siki runs into him haphazardly and loses everything, and then he can counterattack, but I don't think that's going to happen. He's starting to push out here slowly, killing off a few. Oh, God, he's just killed his own uh, observer there once again. He's going to storm his own Templar as well. Pretty sloppy play here from the ASL contender, where Ziki is handling this game in the late stages very, very well. Really, the only mistake, or not even a mistake, but just a potential, like, better damage that I think Ziki could have gotten, or better value could have gotten out of his units, was just blocking this. That was the only thing I could see that I could, like, have a note on at all here from Ziki. Ziki really been handling this late game to perfection. The double, two-time flying defiler into this base and to this base was immaculate really really well done and he's found himself now in a position that's almost unbeatable 43 drones to 29 probes with two full mining bases here it's still a game though one base to two base you can do it here as protoss 30 probes on one base is full mining on one base and if you get great trades and maybe you get a couple of storm drops off you can even things out here. He's going to go for that storm drop now while taking a base over here, uh, over at the top left. Looks like some skirmishing's going, but there's a much bigger story going on right here. Oh my God. What a crazy amount of damage that just went down. He does lose the shuttle. Trying to drop the Archon to actually kill that shuttle was pretty, uh, pretty stylish. Oh, he sends a DT down here, and he sees that this base is mining. I think that was the first time no Noob saw that. So he didn't even know about that, I don't think, until just this moment. But that was a lot of drones to lose. He's actually behind in drone count. We were at like 45-something drones just moments ago, and now we're down to just 30. So the storm drop was insane. So much damage, but will it be enough? to bring him back. He's dropping plagues, chaining the plagues, and he managed to deny this base. Siki looking good here. Just a few more picks on a few more observers, and this base is going to start to mine out. We've still got an observer up here, so we could bring that back. We've still got the observer here as well. Storm's being thrown down on these Ling's, but Ling's gonna dive forward, and they are 3-3 now. It's 3-2 two or 2-3 two, for these uh, Archons and stuff for the for the ground units, the ground army here of Noob. But being ahead on attack upgrades or being ahead on armor upgrades over the attack upgrades of the Protoss means that Zealots are going to do terribly against these Lynx. Lynx are going to shred Zealots at this point. And that's not good because there's a lot of Lynx at this moment here. This juncture... Lings are not in short supply. Another drop going to come through. Potentially over here to the top center. But Scourge are ready for that. Here we go. Can he actually see this with the Scourge and catch this? He might be able to do so. Great dodge there. Noob going to get this drop off. He will lose the shuttle. But he gets a massive hit. 25 kill Reaver here. Doing a fantastic job at this base. He might be able to kill this potentially. Although Lings are being now sent over here. Going to kill both of these two units. Absolute hero units there. Finally do get shut down. Lot of Lurker. Lot of Ling making its way forward here. The storms are pretty brutal. But eventually the Lurkers will run up on top of this. Wow, they're really not getting much damage. But the Lings can now jump forward. Snipe the Templar. And the Archons and Dragoons are not going to be far behind this. They will eventually go down. 33 kill Archon here. Absolute hero of this game. But slowly and surely, we are going to see Noob get stifled here. He does tap out. 
he had quite a bit of money left over and he was making a lot of zealots but think about it like 12 zealots is that really going to save you in this game there's so many lurkers so many lings probably not we needed like a base a hidden base somewhere to come up with some reavers and uh cannons to make this game still viable 27 workers i guess we lost a lot of lurk of drones to that reaver maybe i missed a drop down here i'll go back and try to picture and picture everything guys but this is siki our hungarian protoss player managing to put up a fantastic game against noob who is a two-time asl contender one of those protoss players that we're looking for to lead in the future maybe their race it's you know not certain that noob will be able to take up that mantle but He's on that short list of potentials uh, that the Protoss are looking to to take that lead in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Foreigner cast, this uh, Foreigner game, excuse me, with a cast from me saying to see. It's always a Foreigner cast when it comes to my channel, but uh, not always a Foreigner games. It's not something that we get into very often. I'm looking to do it more, though, um, as we find more and more great uh, games between foreign pros and Korean pros. So stick around for more games like this, more great games in the future, guys. I'll see you in the next video.